Hi, I'm CJ Elmberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So we've got a brand new two horse gooseneck sitting behind me. This is a really cool trailer, uh, a really easy trailer to pull around, even if you're pulling with a smaller pickup, like a 150 or a half ton of some sort. Uh, but this is a 2024 Cimarron North Star two horse gooseneck behind me here. So this is a brand new one. Yes, 24 models. We've been getting those in here for a couple months now, typically rolling off about May 1st off the lines. So we are on to the next model year. So I'm gonna show you some standard options on this. And then obviously we go in and do our own little twist to them and put our own options on them as well. So let's take a look at the drawing of the trailer. That way you can see how it's laid out. So two horse gooseneck front tack room. It's a three and a half foot short wall. So not a big tack room, but it is spacious. I'll show you that when we get into it. 14 and a half foot on the floor. So when you're talking floor length, very, very manageable trailer getting in and out of places. Standard width, 610 wide, standard height, 71 tall. So as we start building these trailers, we'll take the standard options, but we never just build a single standard trailer. We always go ahead and put other items, other options on them. Now, when we're looking at a 24 model, I'm gonna point out one thing. If we look right at the front of this trailer, up at the top, you're gonna notice three marker lights. So over the years, we've kind of been adding a few of those marker lights on some trailers here and there. I think it really dresses it up. It's a good look to the trailer. Cimarron decided to make that a standard option on their 24 model. So you have the three marker lights on the front, and then obviously you have standards going down the side, but then you can always add more to them. One of the other new options, if we look underneath the gooseneck, if you notice where the spare tire is located, it's actually shifted up a little bit higher than normal. You normally see this foot down here at the bottom of the, the box of the trailer itself, but there's a reason behind that. So as you can see, we have a manual crank jack. This isn't a big trailer. So again, um, cranking it up and down, not a big deal. But if you ever wanted to upgrade to a hydraulic jack of some sort, this spare tire needs to be re relocated where it's currently at because the footprint of a hydraulic jack is a little bit bigger than the manual. So we're gonna have to relocate this spare. Either that or you're gonna have to take it out and just throw it in the tack room, throw it up in the nose, and then you have to work around it. We like this to be somewhere where it's secure, somewhere out of the way, somewhere where it's handy to get to. So again, shift it up. When we get to our wider trailers, seven and a half foot wide, eight foot wide, it's we have the space the width of the trailer so we can still keep that spare located lower if we want but on these 610 wides they've now gone in and made this standard where it was moved up this was something we were doing uh, just to kind of hey maybe you ought to put this there that way it's one less thing we have to do when you want to go ahead and add that hydraulic jack on there but again manual crank jack right here again really easy to crank this trailer up and down just based on the sheer size of it uh, but if you do want to upgrade to that and just push a button, it is definitely nice. Our parts and service department can do that after the fact. Now, the length of a Cimarron nose is eight foot two. It's a little bit longer than a lot of the other trailers out there in today's market. A lot of them run a seven and a half, seven, eight foot nose. Uh, this is a little bit longer, so we have a little bit more storage up in the gooseneck area. The other benefit is even if you're running a long box truck and you drop your tailgate, you can still get in between the front end of that trailer and your tailgate very easily. You can maneuver. Um, other manufacturers, especially when you get in the hydraulic jack, you drop that tailgate and it's actually buttoned right up against there. So again, you have a little bit more space there. The other thing is bed clearance. So industry standard from the bottom of the gooseneck deck to the bottom of the trailer has been 50 inches over the years. We've been doing this for a couple years now making it a 53 inch gooseneck drop. And the reason why is if you pull in here with a newer, not so much half ton, but if you pull in with a three quarter ton, you know, Ford Dodge, even GM, all their bed heights have gotten taller. So we have to worry about these trailers running level and having bed clearance. So that's been a challenge, especially if these trucks are getting taller. You have to kind of compensate one way or the other. Do you want it nosed up? For bed clearance well now you're running on all your weight on your back axle if you want to level it out now we have minimal bed clearance tearing up a bed on a brand new pickup is not ideal i mean it's an eighty thousand dollar eighty five thousand dollar pickup in today's market it seems like replacing that bed is not a very uh, uh fun thing to do especially on the pocketbook so we've made this a 53 inch gooseneck drop 
that's standard on all of our using trailers. We'll take it a case by case basis. Are we dealing with air ride suspension, 17 and a half inch wheels, 19 and a half inch wheels where we have that height. Where in this, you know, we have a little bit smaller axles, a little bit smaller tires. Now we can get that bed clearance because believe me, you've got two axles. We want equal weight distribution on them. We don't want to be running on that back axle. We want that bed clearance. So now we've got the capability to adjust that coupler any way we want by having that as an option that we do to these trailers as far as that's concerned. Now, this trailer here, I don't have the uh, exact weight on it just yet. We will get that when uh, we enter everything in the system with the MSO, um, but we're gonna estimate this trailer right around 4,000 pounds empty. So in today's market with these new half ton pickups, this is easily a trailer you can pull. Um, you throw two head of horses on here, throw on your tack, anything else, you're definitely within your range of where these new half tons are, are rated at. Now, we went again, three and a half foot short wall. So we have a four foot offset, so we're seven and a half on this long wall. 42 inch wide door, so big wide door, and there's a reason for that. As you can see, if we kind of approach it, you can see the saddle racks actually tucked inside here. So you have a swing out saddle rack. So we like the 42 inch wide doors. That's what we, how we build them whenever we do this swing out. So when you're swinging this in and out, even if you have items on your blanket poles, your saddle racks, we're not interfering you know, with the actual door frame. We're not dragging those items across that door frame. The other thing too is whether it's swung in or out, as you can see, you have a path. You can still get in and out of these trailers. A lot of other manufacturers will have a smaller door where you have the potential to drag against this door frame, but then when it's swung out, you're not getting in and out of the tack room. So saddle racks on the, on the swing out, two blanket poles. Nice thing is these are all adjustable. So if I wanna adjust where they're located at, higher, lower, change the sequencing, I can do that. It's literally just loosening up the bolts and then tightening them up once you find where you want them to live. But again, swing in and out, definitely a nice feature to have there. On your door, you're gonna have a door organizer. So hang some fly, you know, put your fly spray bottles in there, anything like that, some brushes, those items can be secure there. The other cool thing is, is, is that fold up step. So we really like fold up steps. We'll do these on about all the trailers now. We used to do them on the eight foot wides for sure, some seven and a half. So we ended up just saying, you know what, that's a feature we think that everybody's gonna like. The other thing is if we don't do it on this and we run this running board all the way up and you wanna add it after the fact, then we gotta cut, we gotta do some other things to it. So we'd rather just go ahead and put it on the trailer. So as you can see going in and out of here, this transition, it makes it a lot easier by having that fold up step there. And then when we get into the tack room itself, very first thing you're gonna notice, 12 inch boot box when you come in. So more storage area for you, places for things to live, keeping things a little bit more organized, those smaller things that can roll around as you're in transport. You can use it as a bench if you're hanging out here as well, and then a step jumping up into the gooseneck area if you wanna do that. Windows in the actual gooseneck, I'm a big fan of, because if you're ever gonna spend the night in here, you can see out, you can create a cross breeze, it makes a big difference there. And you wanna talk about the depth of that nose, again, eight foot two, so a lot of space. You can even throw a mattress up here, it's gonna shift forward. So you have a little bit more storage back here as well. Um, but a nice, nice gooseneck area there for you to hang out in and sleep if you need to. On the short wall, there's a shelf with a clothes bar on it. So it's secure, it's got a lip to it, so it holds items in there. Have plenty of space there um, as far as clearance between the roof and that. So throwing hat cans, those type of items in here you know again another secure place for those items to live and then you can hang your clothes maybe you're traveling you don't want all those clothes in your pickup so now we can throw them in here and they've got a place you can hop in change do anything you need to there then on the partition wall you've got these aluminum powder coated hooks that Simron's designed I like them because they have quite a bit of height to them and then depth off the wall and then they have good amount of spacing as well we understand we're going to be hanging a lot of items on these that's kind of been the knock on those older, smaller bridle hooks as items will fall off because there's just not enough hook to it itself. And then you have the carpet behind it. So as those items are moving as you're, as you're driving, 
you know, we're not against this aluminum scratching everything up. And also there's horses on the other side of this, so it'll deaden that noise as far as they're concerned by having that carpet there. And then the very last thing back behind the saddle rack is gonna be a corner water tank. So that's a 25 gallon gravity feed water tank, fill from the top, fill empty from the bottom. You can just put a hose on the bottom with a ball valve. They're fantastic to have on board. Uh, if your trailer doesn't have them, our parts department can sell them to you. It's nice to be able to carry that water with you. Maybe you get to an event and the hydrant's a long ways away. Maybe you have a horse that prefers water from home or just in traveling in these you know, summer months with traffic, those type of items, you're waiting in line somewhere, you've got the capability to have water right here for you. You're gonna have an LED light right above the door. So you have plenty of light coverage in this trailer. That's a big Optibright LED, so not a big power draw, but boy, it puts out a good amount of light for that space. Again, fold up step, very easy to use. It's on a gas shock. White sheeting on this, white is, white is standard. So if you wanna go with a different color option, that is an upcharge. Uh, there is quite a few options out there as far as that's concerned, but on these here, for the most part, this is a white trailer. Uh, silver metallic's popular, charcoal metallic, black. Those are kind of the, the popular options that we see most common. We've done custom colors, Pepsi blue, we got a red trailer coming, polish, I've seen green. I mean, about anything you want there, we can do. On your axles. You have two 5,200 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, 16 inch wheels. Those are good years. Those are nitrogen filled as well. So PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate as drastically as air will, uh, especially when we have these cooler mornings, hotter days. I mean, we're gonna be upper 90s today, but we've had some cooler evenings, cooler mornings, uh, big, big temperature differences that will throw off PSI levels. But by having that nitrogen in there, we're not going to see that. You can put air to it if you have a slow leak or, you know, low tire. Don't worry about that. You're just not, not getting the benefits of nitrogen. So you can go find a, a tire dealership or a tire distributor that could fill them back up with nitrogen. The aluminum wheels are standard. Uh, electric brakes on this. The other cool thing about these tires are if, if you do have an issue with them, you have a one year, no questions asked warranty on those tires. Blowout. Uh, you know, you catch a nail that can't be patched, road damage, anything like that. First year of owning this trailer, they'll stand behind them and uh, replace those tires for you for free. Bolt-on fender, that's another thing. When it comes to labor, uh, if we do have an issue where we tear up a fender, it's bolt-on rather than weld-on. So the amount of labor it needs to swap it out is cut drastically. Instead of cutting one off, a weld-on, re-welding it, this is just bolt-on, on and off. So saves a lot of time there as far as that's concerned. You're gonna have your two bus windows. Those are standard. Look at the size of those bus windows. A lot of the competitors, if you look at the tack door, that's gonna be their bus window that they're putting in the hip wall to where Cimarron really tries to maximize that space. Because think about this, on a bus window, only half of that's gonna open because of the slider. So a lot of airflow there. You got a couple hooks out here. You also have your 16 inch awning light up there. So again, another exterior light for you. And as we get to the back, you're gonna have an eight inch awning at the top of this as well. Dual doors, independent, 60-40 setup, larger doors on the right side. So if you don't have to open up your left, loading and unloading, you don't have to. Um, but on these type of setups, these narrow trailers, we like to go with the 60-40 setup as far as that's concerned. As you can see, rubber bumper at the back. Maybe your horse prefers a ramp load Maybe you wanna use this for dual purposes. Maybe you wanna throw some toys in here from time to time. Maybe even just haul a lawnmower to go get serviced, anything like that. We can add a rear ramp or a, yeah, rear uh, ramp over to this trailer if you want to, again, through our parts and service department. You have a strap rather than a bar at the back. And the reason why is this is a big opening. So if we have one big bar that goes across there and you break it loose and a horse hits it and comes flying at you, that's a large piece of metal. So on this, we go with the strap as far as these options. If this had a folding rear tack, normally we'd do a bar on that. Uh, but in this instance here, we do the strap. And then as you come into the stall area here, you're gonna notice right off the bat, we did a stud divider rather than the partial. Uh, we just feel like maybe there's some customers out there that maybe they're only hauling one head of horse, the occasional two in this type of a setup. You wanna use this front stall for some storage. 
So now with the stud divider, it's gonna secure those items up ahead of the horse, or you, maybe you have two horses you need to kind of separate a little bit more. It's nice to have the stud option. Now this trailer is tipped towards passenger side, but I want you to notice, you know, we're not having to hold this divider because of the big spring that Cimarron uses that wants to pull it towards driver's side. So we don't have to hold a divider loading and unloading horses. Uh, so it's safer for you, it's safer for the horses as well. Maybe you wanna add pads or Again, parts service department can help you out there. We can do pads on that divider itself. Kick mat all the way around. LED lights in here. So same LED lights we saw in the front tack room. Two of them in here. So again, not a big stall area. So a lot of light coverage as far as that's concerned. Two way roof vents. So we can manipulate airflow. I'll show you the drop windows when we get to the driver's side of this trailer but we cap it off every single Cimarron has this roof. This is a half inch thick honeycomb reinforced insulated roof that is standard on every single Cimarron. So it doesn't matter if it's this two horse gooseneck, a five horse living quarters, a big trainer trailer, they all have that roof. So there's multiple benefits to it. One is its strength. So again, when it comes to maybe hail storms, with it being a, a lot heavier duty than other roofs out there, you know, it'll take substantial hail and won't damage it. I can walk on that roof and I don't have to find these roof bows to walk on it. It'll take 150 pounds per square foot uh, as far as that, the strength of that roof is concerned. In my opinion, the more important benefit is what it does for the stall area for comfort levels for the horses. So it keeps it 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof. That is significant when we're getting into these real hot summer months. You come to the lot on one of these days like today where we'll be pushing a hundred come out here about 5 p.m. when everything has been baking on this asphalt all day take you to a trailer with aluminum sheeted roof and put you in it and then I'll take you to a Cimarron and you will notice a physical difference in the just temperature of the stall area and it's all because of that roof and we don't even have any airflow moving through it at that point so big big benefit there the other thing is the floor so let's go top to bottom so floor you're looking at the industry's best floor in today's market. It's a uh, extruded piece, a half inch, or excuse me, a foot, so 12 inches, extruded piece of aluminum that locks in high and low, like tongue and groove. But more importantly, if you look underneath these trailers, the centers, the I-beams that run across the length of this trailer are four inches apart. So we have a V-truss in the middle of that 12 inch piece. So. Picture hoof size of your horse. Wherever they're standing on this floor, they're standing on a support beam. So, industry's best floor right there um, that you're gonna get on a Cimarron. Well, I talked about the warranty on the tires. You're also gonna get a great factory warranty of eight year structure, three year uh, hitch to bumper, so they really stand behind the product. And one of the last things, well, two things I wanna point out. This paddle latch is flush, so nothing protruding out. It's also a heavy UHMW plastic with a cast aluminum piece around it that's powder coated so we don't have metal to metal contact. Metal to metal contact will start rattling just creating a lot of noise. We don't have that here. The other thing is we put a little bit of length in this back stall so this divider can stay open and we can shut our rear doors if we want. So again, maybe those instances of you're wanting to haul some toys, maybe you got a mare and foal, you wanna hop in there, give them a little bit more room together. It's nice to be able to have that divider against the wall and then we can shut those rear doors. So like I mentioned, drop windows on the head side. Here's a good look at those. Jail bars as well. We can order screens in for you, but these guys drop as well. But I want you to notice the framework around that window. Pay attention to that when you're looking at a lot of trailers because if you look at a Cimarron and the amount of framework around it, this is an item you're gonna open and close every single time. This is all framework right here. So really strong, really durable, a lot of strength to it. A lot of manufacturers will have a prefab window where there's literally no framework around it. It's like a piece of paper in your hand. I mean, a horse could easily break it, it just wobbles. These guys here are good and stout. We have a drip rail above them so we can try to keep that moisture out of those openings. That comes really important uh, when we get into our winter months here. You know, 300 days of sunshine, 
we'll have snow overnight in the daytime it'll warm up sun will come out and start melting stuff it'll come off the trailers at night it'll freeze again so we're keeping that moisture away from those openings and then welded hinges with grease certs on these as well so we can maintain them a lot easier just from home uh, if we start noticing one getting a little bit dry making a little bit of noise we can actually put grease to it there's a brass rod in the middle there that has a groove cut into it that runs the length of this so when we open and close it's wanting to force that grease throughout that hinge so again just easier for you to maintain and then another 16 inch awning light between those two windows so again light coverage all the way around they're all on individual switches as well which makes it really nice for when you're wanting to uh, put light in certain areas or light everything up all right so this trailer is available today i'm going to give you the stock number on it for reference it is 5n230073 it is a 2024 Cimarron North Star two horse gooseneck. We do take trade in, so if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, anything like that, we can help you out there. Financing is available and delivery is an option. We can get this right to your doorstep. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303 684 3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.